Here's the question. What Pearl Jam song do you think Vampire Weekend could cover live? Or like if someone was like gun to head, you need to do a Pearl Jam cover live next year or I'm going to kill your parents. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it's got to be like a regular part of the set. Yeah. You're like, okay, I got be- guys, we got to do a Pearl Jam cover next year. I think I already know what it is. I think we talked about their fourth album once, Jake. Their fourth album, No Code, which mm-hmm. threw some fans for a loop. Yep. But actually had some strong songs. And there was my local radio station played one of the singles a lot that's called Who You Are. It's like kind of like a droney Indian Pearl Jam song, just kind of like the drums. Wanna sail on in there. I always thought it was like a very pretty song. Yeah. And, you know, as a student of rock history, I've definitely spent some time digging into Pearl Jam set lists because they switch up set lists a lot. So I'm always curious about bands who do that because obviously that's become a real priority for Vampire. Just, but you know, it takes some figuring out. Like, how much do you keep the same every night? How different? How much do you like spread out the albums? And I've noticed that they don't play that song too often. So I feel like it wouldn't be quite as crazy as just like, if we just <laughs> busted out like Alive or Jeremy. First of all, I think I would sound terrible singing that. <laughs> Dude, like, you're no Herm Yarl. I'm no Herm Yarl. I got no Herm or Yarl. <laughs> There's no Herm in my Yarl. If I had to pick some of my favorite Pearl Jam songs, I might say Yellow Lead Better. I know, Jake, you said that song doesn't cut the mustard, but I'm a fan. I might pick Better Man. I, but oh. I can't... The, none of these songs are going to sound good with Vampire. Dude, Corduroy? Wait, is that The Waiting Drove Me Mad? Yeah. Oh, that's a great song. Let me try to sing that like me. do na 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 all right, Eddie would go, the waiting drove me mad. I'd go, Da-da-da-da-da. the waiting. Uh, I, I, I actually can't even find a way in. The waiting drove, I'm going pop punk now. Yeah. The waiting drove me mad. I can't find a way in on that Yeah, one. maybe you could do like a David Byrne kind of thing. The waiting drove me mad. Oh, I could do David Bowie. Da-da-da-da-da. The waiting drove me mad. I can't find a way in, man. I can do that other one. I'm set and learn and be who you are. Or I could do like a famous Pearl Jam cover, like Last Kiss. That'd be easy. Yeah. Oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? But that's not, that's a cover. It doesn't really count. Dude, I can see you doing daughter. Don't call me daughter. Don't call me daughter. Not <laughs> fair to me. The picture. <laughs> <laughs> the picture kept will remind this is like i don't know picturing like like uh once upon a time in hollywood just like at band practice and i tried i'm like half a second like go back to like my my dressing room just like smash everything up just like what the f- is wrong with you man you're just like dunking your face in ice water yeah, ice water just like you're f- stupid you're f- okay all right it is hard to find a way in. I mean, here's the thing. I guess that's why Herm Yarl became a thing is because Eddie Vedder's voice is so idiosyncratic. It's like in for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah. And we will talk more about Herm Yarl in the new year. Um, we're going to go deep on it. Maybe it'll come up again later. 